thought if I'm going to get a new dress for my daughter's wedding, I'd like it to be something really special. Not Chiquita banana special like your sister-in-law Barbara, but something really nice. I saw something at McGurdy's the other day when I was having lunch with Seal. Tuesday. Uh, was it Tuesday? Red shrimp salad. Ten or so colors. Lovely, lovely pink colors. Almost orange. You don't really give a damn, do you, Mitchell? You can buy any chartreuse, yellow, purple, red, if you like. When you're happy, I'm happy. Jean and Barbara arriving a week from Sunday. If she can tear him away from the boxing match. Paula's getting married. Roger's a caring man, very bright, centered. You're like everybody centered, huh? Where did you pick that up? I used to be afraid for her. But I'm not anymore. Oh, I don't care how successful she is. From the land development deals she makes, and Chamber of Commerce awards, how many Hermes scarves she owns. And it doesn't really mean anything unless you have someone. It gives me hope. Well, that's what weddings are all about. Hope? Yeah. And orange dresses. Child. Hi. Uh, sorry I'm late. I was at the doctor's. Oh. He says A and B are doing just fine. Oh, good. Come on. Uh, what's the matter? I don't know. Maybe I'll keep my maiden name. I don't want it to fall off the face of the earth. Well, maybe one of those hyphenated dealies. <laughs>
nothing earth-shattering, although the McDermott fellow from Butler seems a little confused about the Feral Land Division deal. Mm. He seems conveniently vague on some of the details you were very clear about. Never trust a redhead. <laughs> well, it's nothing serious, but I think you ought to look at it. Oh, Dick Huntington called. God, isn't he a doll? Those teeth. And Stern Mortgage. Arnie Walsh is interested in the South Flats deal. Again. Jet. What? Jet. It's Polish. It means phony baloney. Uh, call Dick Huntington. Set up something with him tomorrow. Villa Arena. You may go. Shit. But you gotta buy it anyway. It's complete total shit. I wouldn't say that exactly. You're total fucking shit. Yeah? Well, I may be total fucking shit, but I'm expensive total fucking shit. You are cheap total fucking shit. Uh, you know, my father's first vice president. He's in a key bank in Youngstown. First. Yeah, but even bankers make mistakes. Doesn't matter what you like. Eat glass. Uh, it's more picturesque speech, gentlemen. It's you. <laughs> Where did you come from? Miami, the... Uh, oh. Uh, listen, uh... You, want, you wanna... Do I have a drink or something? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, Bill! I'm going out for a minute here. Well, last thing I heard, you were dealing out of uh, Bolivia, Morocco, or... Dealing out of Morocco. That's very cool. That was seven years ago, man. It was Miami. The bad part of Miami. Shit, all of Miami is the bad part of Miami. Where are you going? I was just... Uh... Oh, uh, 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 Diet Coke, that, that, that's all I drink now, just Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Thanks. No, I, um, uh, I flew out of town as... High as a kite, and I didn't stop until I hit bottom. And, I'm, and my I mean, wife's I... expecting a uh, baby. I married Valerie Solari, man. Yeah, I'm expecting twins. I hope one of them's gonna be a boy. Little Tony. Little Tony. He'll hate you for it. Yeah, so what else is there since the beginning of time? Well, so. Ah, man, I'm sorry. I got it. It's okay. I got it. It's all right. I got it. Fuck, let's get out of here. So, what'd you come back for? Your sister's wedding? What wedding? What do you mean again? I don't. I, I don't understand. Is she, is she? Is she and Dave divorced? Well, she never married. Da oh, you didn't know that? No. What happened? You, Chuck. No. God. <laughs> Tony. 
man. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I really am sorry for everything that I did. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. You okay? Come on, Chip. Hold on. Oh, wait up. Tony, look, I, I, I got to know, man. You got to tell me. I drove by the house yesterday, and, I, and my, I saw my mom in the window, and my dad's car was in the driveway in the daytime, and I... Is he, is he's okay. Oh, thank God he's all right. Oh, thank God. Man, all of a sudden, I, I, I thought maybe I killed him or something, or... I, all I, I right? By the that cemetery. depends on what you mean by all right. Well, he's alive. At least I got a scrap of hope. Oh, man, you don't exist for them anymore. Hey, I said just a scrap, man. Tony, Tony, look, man. I, I got nothing to live for, man. I mean, I got nothing except the, a lot of pain I've caused. I mean, is it true? Is, is it really true that you, you can't ever go home again? Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it. You lied to me. You stole. You ruined everything, and then you left. I got my own family to think about, god damn it. What the fuck do you want out of me? Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, Emily, you sit still. I'll be right back. Staying at the Vagabond. Is there a problem here? Hey, I know you. You know this guy? Karen. Kiki. Kiki? Kiki, no shit. No shit. Get out of here. I, 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 I'm listed under McGregor in Farrell. Call me, OK? Look, I got kids, six and eight. Great. Are you here for the reunion? No, no. I, I know. I mean, come on, move it, buddy. Oh, I'll knock it off. Lose it. Now both shoulders together. Okay, that's it. Good night, ladies. Thank you. Tony and Amy. No, no, no. Um, Tony and Tammy? No. Uh, Tammy and Amy. <laughs> How about Lisa and Tony? No. Oh, no, no. Tony and Ted. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Chuck Warsaw today. Tony, I don't want you to see him again. Please. Hey, Tiger. Remember me, Homer in high school? <laughs> I might have been gym class. I'm a little different now. <laughs> oh, 
<sighs> so, Louise tells the kids and the maid that she is going... Bunny was in his office. ...going to Saks Fifth Avenue. A trip from which she never returned. Bunny was worried he called the cops. She disappeared off of God's earth. Poof! He spent thousands trying to find her. And the Chicago matron in that playground was sure that she'd seen someone fitting the description, picking up bottles out of the garbage, a bag lady. But they couldn't find her. Poor man. Then he met Monique, a ravishing beauty. <laughs> All this time, Bunny kept the summer house at the shore because he said he couldn't bear to go there because it reminded him of Louise. Thelma, I think you ought to finish this story after dinner. A young couple bought the house, and they decided to put a rec room in the basement. Imagine their surprise when they started digging and found bones. Mom, you never told us. No, but we're eating. <laughs> Had Bunny murdered Louise? It crossed everybody's mind. I don't think Roger's interested in this. Yes, he is. Now, look at the situation. <laughs> Bunny was a father of three little kids. Can you imagine the suffering they'd go through if he'd been arrested? What would you have done? Well, that's difficult. <laughs> well, I'd like to think I'd see justice done. You are marrying quality. <laughs> <laughs> well, he called the police the next morning. The bones, my dear were those of a great dame. Oh, I should have known. <laughs> Doesn't mean he didn't kill her. Monique was some dish. So the skeleton in this family's closet is the dogs. <laughs> you read too much Agatha Christie, Aunt Thelma. Louise simply gave up and walked out on her life. No, you don't just walk out. I don't care how much reason you have. You don't just walk. Val, hi. This is this is Paula. Are you all right? Are you in labor? Oh. What? Oh. Don't don't tell anyone else, okay? I'll take care of it myself. Beard. <laughs> How are you? You look terrific. No, I don't. Mom? No, you mustn't see you. Oh, please. What do you need? Francis, I can't find him. Yes, darling. I'll be right there. Okay, can I come back another time? Not now. Go, please. Go now. Go. She means well. Oh, she means well. 
means well. Everybody means well. It's not what people mean, Paul. It's what they do. Louise is probably very happy getting old at Sex Fifth Avenue. Louise is dead. Bunny killed her. Dead. We never would have killed her if she hadn't run out. They spent a lot of time and money trying to find her. And one day, he found her. It was in Chicago. She was picking up empty bottles for two-cent deposit in Lincoln Park. She was drunk, dirty. He was revolted by what he saw. He knew he could never have her back again, at least not the way she was. So, he killed her. Dead? I don't know if you're teasing me or not. This is getting me very upset. I made it up. Yeah. bottoms and lots of fringe. Wanted to be sunny and share. I think they still do. They won't come anyway. Invite them. What's wrong with you, Paula? Nothing. Why? Something is bothering you. You know, you're not as tough as you'd like this world to believe. Will you tell me, please? I'm fine. Fine. I am so glad I have you. I love you. Come inside. Yes, uh, uh, do, you, do you have a name and address for Karen McGregor and Farrell? Yes, thank you. Well, lots of flowers. Yeah, I uh, bought a franchise, a, a dozen roses in a gold box sort of place. <laughs> It's almost paid off, too. Sit down. So, um... What time is it, Mommy? It's late, honey. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. Are you okay? Yeah. Maybe I, I better go. No, it's fine. I'm just I'm just gonna put her to bed, okay? Whoa. Oh. Who's that? He's just an old friend. He looks like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> That's just because of his beard, honey. Mommy loves you. How much? Mm. This much. <laughs> Night, honey.
know who you let in? Just your average neighborhood lunatic. You, you look... Your hair's long, you're skinny. You, well, I don't mean you're skinny, but... Will you sit down, relax? Do you want a drink or something? No, I, I, I don't drink any. How about... Do you want some? No. You always were in overdrive. Downshift. Downshift? I remember. <laughs> we were wasted that night. You, you were wasted that night. We were downtown, and you got that tattoo. Do you still have it? What do you think? <laughs> you were all over me that night. I had to run away from you. Yeah, you ran. I chased you two solid years, but you're always with those little short-haired jocks. I had some kind of wicked power over them, didn't I? For a while there, it was like I was doing community service. I got married to a lawyer, you know? <laughs> you know why I did it, too. You know, you scare me. You've always scared me. Truth is... You were the only one I really cared about. Oh, well, one never knew. <laughs> Forget it. You wouldn't have known what to do with it if you had a chance. Yeah, and you sure never gave me a chance. Look, I, I invited you here, but... I know it sounds crazy, but... I didn't want to wait another 15 years wondering. It's, it's been, I feel like an old man now, I don't know. You're a fun-loving, carefree boy. I know who you are, bad seed. Right in the dark. Oh. Oh. Intense. Yeah, me too. You're beautiful. I am. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Look, uh, maybe uh, I ought to go, you know, it's late and, uh... Will you shut up and just come back to bed? You know, all the time that I was getting better at the rehab clinic, it's like I had this longing. It's like, it's like, like, like you dive into one end of the pool when you're 18, and then when you reach the other side, you're like over 30. Oh, yeah, your kids, that's great. 
That is really great, Karen. Yeah, it is. You know, my ex-husband hasn't seen him in two years. He's lost bastard. I, uh, have a son. You do? Harris Mitchell Warsaw. Oh, that's nice. His mother was a cocktail waitress in Tampa. Heavy, heavy into drugs. She'd get straight just long enough to make sure he got fed and, I guess, felt loved. That's a lot, actually. Anyway, uh, they went to St. Louis. She met a guy, you know. She met a guy, and? I signed him away, Karen. What do you mean? My son. I was blasted out of my mind when I put my signature on the papers to let her husband legally adopt him. Oh, Christ. I haven't seen him for four and a half years. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what they call him. Oh, oh, Chuck, that's awful. Awful. If anybody ever took my... Oh, for a second. I, I just couldn't be bothered. It was like I was longing for, for, for some place I'd never been. I, I, I didn't know where, but... Then one day, I, I'm like flipping the channels, and there's a game on. And I'm sitting in Miami fucking rooting for Pittsburgh. <laughs> they need all the help they can get. It was, uh... The longing for home. The last week, I jumped in the car, headed north like a bird in spring. I think you're great just for getting in the car. Now you get in this goddamn bed. I got kids to look after in the morning, okay? <laughs> oh, man. to Toronto had quite an effect on him but why he's calling a monster after a friend I have no idea uh, Robin Domingo is not quite conscious yet could you please cut him some slack Domingo begs for mercy Domingo sits down right now Did you know? Know what? I thought so. I won't have you seeing him. He's dead. We agreed. Does Daddy know he's back? No. He'd have killed Daddy if he knew. Mom, you will not see him. I was unaware that you'd been granted the divine right to give me orders. Do you really think I would do anything to hurt your father? We saw each other for five seconds and exchanged two words. I'll probably never see him again.
Lieutenant Fontana? Yes. Uh, have a seat. Uh, um. Oh, um. Beautiful day. You can actually breathe real air out of that shit. And people will get into trouble. And what we need is a snowstorm. Do you know what happened to the crime rate when it snows? It plummets. The sunshine's no good. In fact, the nicer the day is, the happier they get, the drunker they get. The next thing you know, they're beating up on somebody. And that's why there's no crime in Russia. They're not happy. Can I ask you a question? Oh, sure. Um, Look, you got a problem. You can confide in me. I just hope it's not weird. It's weird. I, um, I caused a lot of property damage to my parents' home. Uh, what's your name? Why? So I can put it into the computer. What's your name? Chuck, um, Warsaw. Was anybody hurt? My father was, but he's all right now. What's the address? Uh, 485 Columbia. Lucille. Yeah, get a patrol car over to 485. Oh, no. That's not necessary. Why not? It happened in 1971. Uh, no, Lucille, I'm sorry. No, forget that. Why did you come here today? I'm not trying to pretend that it didn't happen or that I'm not responsible. I just want that on the record. Thank you. Sit down. Sit down, and I'll tell you. What is it? A restraining order was filed this morning, forbidding you to be within 200 yards of Mitchell Warsaw. Who did that? Seems your father's mentally incompetent, so your sister took care of this for him. If they don't want to talk to you, you can't make them. You can't even try to make them. Thank you. Have a nice day. Who's driving today? Oh, Carl, thank you. Uh, Stan went to pick up his grandchildren, but uh, he's going to meet us later on over at the arena. Yeah, I'm with Warsaw. I love you very much. Still love me if my name was Mitchell Zolenkinikowicz. Oh, I know. Your daddy came from Poland via Warsaw. The authorities at Ellis Island saw his name card, saw something like Zolenkinikowicz via Warsaw. And it was easier to say Warsaw than Zolenkinikowicz. And it stuck. <laughs> Karen, I, 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 I just don't belong here. So you take care of yourself. Bye.
he came back for your wedding. I don't want to wait another 15 years to work with you. You're the only one that I ever cared about. You're the only one that I ever cared Planning another trip? I was. But I realized that I need to be here. So did you get them from my shop? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Yay, hey. me, 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 me. Um, there's still some dinner if you want to eat. Um, okay, uh, just a minute though, I got it. Ouch. Close your eyes. What? Close your eyes. What are you doing there? <laughs> Trust me. Uh-huh, I heard that. <laughs> Have you ever done this before? No, I've never done this before, but there's a first time for everything. Oh, you cut me, sweetheart, and you're dead meat. Don't move. I have a recipe for banana custard pie that Edith Gadomsky gave me. She always changes something so that it doesn't turn out quite the same. You know? Honey? You think it's the butter in this one? I'll use twice the butter, I think.
Tiger. See that. So what do you think? Wanna go a little one on one? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's walk. Junior varsity championship. Pittsburgh Civic Arena, May 24th through the 26th. What a weekend. Yeah, I remember. I remember. High score? 105. 105. I move down. Yeah. I go up. I pass you the ball. I move down. You pass it back. Five seconds left. You pass it. Go up. Scores. Well, almost scores. <laughs> he scores. We win. Yeah, we won. We won. I gotta get home, Valerie. And... Yeah, I know. And Dad, uh, you gotta get home to your better half. Yeah. Look, you need a few bucks or something, man. You need. No, no. I'm looking for a job. I'm sure there's something I'm unqualified enough to land. <laughs> well, I just laid a guy off, or. Uh, Get it. I'm fine. Just to. Just seeing you like this, man, just gives me all the hope that. Tony, I really love you, man. Yeah. Well, I gotta go. I'll see you. will serve 200 people. Mm -hmm. Another favorite here, roses entwined with blown sugar lovebirds. Blown, blown sugar, sugar lovebirds. Love <laughs> Darling! <laughs> I am now earning slightly over $165 a week, and I have never been happier in my life. I'm up to show them the white elephant overlooking Buell Park, I know. Miss Warsaw's office. Paula, it's... I'm late. This guy wants to know where Paula's gonna be this afternoon. Should I tell him? He's got a fabulous voice. Miss Warsaw won't be in, but she'll be showing the Buell Mansion later this afternoon. Well, you're very welcome. <laughs> Austria in the 1870s when they were at the height of crystal production. It's a very beautiful, Patricia, but I want you to wander through the house one more time. I want you to be sure. All right? Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> I think she likes it. I do, too. It really is very pretty. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh. oh, you startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, do you know Paula Warsaw? Yes, I do. Would you mind getting her for me? Ah, uh, romance? No, love. Thanks. Paula. Yes, Paula, there's a very handsome young man downstairs who insists on speaking only to you. Oh, my goodness. Well, so we'll I'm wait gonna... for you here, OK? I'm sorry. Excuse it's me. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. Well, what do you think?
We used to do this when we were kids, remember? I catch your eye or you catch mine and we play this stare down game. You're trespassing. My eyes would be burning and tearing and... But neither of us would give up. Your, uh, your office told me you were up here. Oh? At 5.30, I'll be showing a house at 3rd and Hazen, and if you show up there, I won't talk to you either. In fact, I'll have you arrested. I didn't think you would see me any other way. I will call the police. You, uh, have a lot of connections up there, I gather. Get out of here. Go back to where you came from. That's what I'm trying to do, Paula. I, uh, I never meant to hurt you. The street? Or anyone else. So, uh, I, uh, I, I, I hear Roger's very good looking. Do that. Please. How else am I going to get to know you again? You won't. Ever. I'm not going to hurt you. You think that, 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 that you, you can ever forget me? Huh? What, 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 like, 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 rip me out of your mind? <laughs> try. Just try. And that is what I must have looked like that day. You're invited to the class reunion, Sharon High School, 1970-72. Come as you were. No, I'm not coming, period. What do you mean you're not coming, period? I don't want to go. I don't have anything to wear anyway. <laughs> what do you mean you have nothing to wear? I'm, I, I want to show you off to all these people. And... I don't want to see all those people. Everybody who went to that goddamn high school will be there. I spent my whole life trying to get away from them and their lousy fucking opinions. I ain't going. Whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. You're safe with me. Why do you think they call me the tiger? Huh? Come on. We'll drink a thousand Diet Cokes and we'll boogie on down with the best of them. Please. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Get down! Some people have not caught on. This isn't really stealing, they say. We love each other. It's not adultery. You're not hurting anybody. A little white lie won't hurt. Everybody is stealing. One day they catch on. The scene comes in. And they know their integrity has been compromised. They've been set up. Come in and sit down. Disobey your mother after all these years. Sorry. 
But those lives are made up of errands, chores done, chores to be done. The only sin is forbidding somebody to love you. Well. Oh. 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 Oh, God. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh. I haven't been in this house for 15 years. Last time I was here, I was trying to rip you guys off, and he caught me. And I, I made him pay for what he did to me. <laughs> so, what does a mother want to know about her boy? Everything. He's got a nice girl. <laughs> Karen Anderson, you remember her? I, I, I don't, I don't I, know. <laughs> And ta-da, he's got a job. I'm a bag boy. <laughs> you? Oh. <laughs> I'm 16. God, Paula. Uh, uh, come, come, come. Come in the closet. Yes, please. They're talking about sin. You excited, honey? It's a week away. Has Daddy gone to the basketball game? Every chance he gets. Carl is driving. You realize Daddy hasn't driven in 15 years? Oh, it's not my fault. Honey, keep me company in the kitchen. See what he does? You're fainting. Daddy has not been the same person since the day that Tiger left. You see what he does? I see what you do. You told your father your brother was trying to hurt you that night, and you know it wasn't true. Mom, don't do that. That is not fair. I've done everything that I can to try and make things happy and comfortable for you and Dad. Try and make everything all right in this family. <coughs> Jean and Aunt Barbara and Roger, if I'm going to be back here to help you with dinner. Oh. No, Mom. What? Oh, 
three pizzas, three pumpkin seeds, and popcorn. That man said he was going to have a fit when that guy attacked his wife. What's the story on him, anyway? Uh, 12 to 15 years ago. He was an addict. Trashed his parents' house, beat up his old man, shot him, too. And split. Nobody knew he was back in town. Hey, Mac, we're holding up the line. What was his name? Uh, Warsaw. Could I have a token of pizza, please? Barbara, great hair. You like it? <laughs> Uncle Gene calls it the pineapple. <laughs> Been talking to you, young man here. I like him. I like him a lot. Nothing but the best for my girl. I see you've already met the crazy half of the family. Well, thanks a lot. Are you all right? I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's have a drink. Gene. Good idea. Gene. Barbara. Mitchell. Paula. Roger. Me. Why don't we just have a little friendly talk with a guy, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 Uncle Gene. Roger and I will take care of this. Oh, Honey, sweetiekins, I think we should call the police. No, I don't want any more trouble. You're my best girl. You always have been. I don't want you upset by anything. I just wish that he would disappear. Paula, we'll figure this out. I got an idea. Come on, let's go. Hey, look, maybe we could give him some money or something. Uncle Gene knows what he's doing. Let's go. to a sporting goods store. Eugene Warsaw, please. Warsaw, like in the city. No answer. All right, thank you. Is this the Golden Dawn supermarket? We're the 485 Columbia Street. You want me to take you there? Or do you think I told you where I live? Don't get excited. I'm not so bright. We're at home. We're... Your mom just called. It's an emergency. She wants your help right away. Go, go! <laughs> What's he doing? I don't like this. Don't worry, sweetiekins. Uncle Gene is just trying to make sure that Chucky is not going to hurt anyone around here anymore. There's 20 bucks in it for you now and 20 bucks later. It's a deal. No, 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 no. This is getting way out of hand. That's no, great. Thanks. no, no. Follow me. It's 
not at work. Where is he? He's on his way to your mom's. Oh, God, no. Dad, Uncle Gene, go, go! any second and we'll have an hour to sort your things out before you, your dad gets here. You have me scared to death. You're not him. No, he's old. God, how I hated my son when he was my son. But you're not him. Granny, Chucky really died. Only we never knew. Nobody ever told us. What a shame. Great. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> Jesus still smells the same in here. <sighs> Look, I, I stopped by the store to apologize for last night, you know? I, God, they told me about what happened at your folks' house. Shit, are you okay? What do you care? Well, I'm coming to you as a friend. <laughs> Man. That ended 15 years ago. But can't we try it again? No. Mom, you all right? Fifteen years, I didn't know if my son was okay. He's okay. They've been hurt more than I have, Karen. I've just got to be right with myself, or I won't be good for anyone. You're all right for me. I just got to see my kid. I don't know why. I just... Unfinished business, I guess. <laughs> this is finished business? Every 15 years or so, huh? The kids will miss you. I'll miss them. So I will call you when I get... 
Speak to St. Louis. I just got to see my son, Karen. I understand. I think I'll drive. All right. Uh, uh, no, 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 second, one second. Maybe a funeral could bring this family back together. Look, I just thought there was a chance that he'd still be here. No, he's at the Cardinal Bargain Rest Motel in St. Louis. He called, but he didn't say much. Hey, you two kids be quiet in there. You know, Tony, it was real easy to love him again. I guess it just depends on what kind of memories you want to have with someone. I need all the good ones I can get. You guys all decided that he was rotten. You can live with it. That's not fair. You just stop it, all right? Or maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm not the only one who was wrong here. But at least I could hope for another chance. All right? for many, many years and have many, many wonderful children. Oh, are you here? <laughs> now it's your turn, Roger. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, there I was, about to turn 40, and uh, <laughs> I'm wondering why I hadn't ever met her. And along came Paula. Uh, pretty soon after we started dating, in fact, real soon, she, uh, she asked me why I hadn't been married. And that answer was very easy. I'd been waiting for her. Oh, it's so sweet. I love you.
Let's hear something from our brother-in-law. Come on. Come on. How about something from the mom? Oh, good. <clears throat> to my son. So long, Chucky. Thanks for going away. Now we can smile and nod and eat our dinner. The giving is messy and we have other plans. To Chuck Warsaw. We don't need you. We've done a good job of dealing with our disappointment. Why wait until the funerals to wish we'd done better for each other? Why be lonely a minute long? Gene, let him go. Is this Karen? Well, I'm Mitchell Warsaw. You know who I am. Do you know where Chucky is? Okay. Uh, Karen. I, uh...
Never forgive me. Never. <laughs> <laughs> 